Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Oh my God, Ooh, that, was sick. that was scary. Passengers on board this flight making a hard landing in Atlanta tonight. The Delta plane skidding to a halt all due to a flat tire. Passengers were deplaned. No one was hurt. The H Street Bridge in Sacramento, now called the Officer Tara O'Sullivan Bridge. It was dedicated in her memory this morning. Officer O'Sullivan was shot and killed in the line of duty in June 2019 while responding to a domestic violence incident. Alcohol might be to blame for this two-car head-on crash that killed five people. It happened yesterday morning in eastern Fresno County. Two people who survived are hospitalized. Another deadly freeway shooting in Oakland taking a life too soon. This time an athlete from Berkeley, Gina Ransom, was killed. Probably one of the greatest players to ever come out of Berkeley. This man from San Francisco has since been arrested for the crime. A Navy SEAL candidate who died after training during Hell Week in San Diego has been identified. 24-year-old Kyle Mullen of New Jersey passed away on Friday. Following the January 6th U.S. Capitol attack, some lawmakers now want to pass some election reform that would clarify who in Congress can challenge a state's results. When one congressman and one senator can bring a state's uh, authentic count uh, to a halt, it's wrong. Some are also calling for the vice president's role to be clarified when certifying the vote. Russian President Vladimir Putin bringing more troops and military hardware near Ukraine's borders. The White House warning an attack could be launched at any time. We are ready if President Putin chooses to continue to engage in diplomacy, and we are serious about that, and we are ready to respond in a united, swift, and severe way. At the U.S.-Canada border, thousands of long-haul truckers protesting, angry about a federal mandate requiring them to be vaccinated to cross into the United States. Meanwhile, the CDC is expanding its monitoring of wastewater to track the next COVID outbreak. About 600 sites will be online in the next few weeks. And check this out. Crows in Sweden are now being trained to pick up cigarette butts from the streets, and it's working. The crows are first trained by using sticks. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.